Model-centric AI belongs to the past. Data-centric AI is the present, but business-centric AI holds the key to the future. Hey guys, I'm Calvin Fernandez, your AI advisor, and welcome to another AI shot. So, you know, in AI, there are like these two main tribes. One is model-centric AI, and the other one is data-centric AI. And in this video, we will explain you these two concepts. And we at Neil AI believe there is a third pattern that people ignore which is business-centric AI. And we believe this is the most important pattern you need to take when dealing with embracing AI models in any company. By the way, in the link, in the description, you will have two links. One is building great data set scores, which is more around the data-centric AI paradigm. And then there is another link for a free preview for our Data Ignite course, Data Ignite course, which is more aligned with a business-centric perspective. The two of them have free previews, so take advantage of that. So let's start with defining model-centric AI, okay? So model-centric AI is very common in academia, on machine learning courses. If you take a fresh data scientist out of academia, they will be shaped around this pattern, which is basically a strong focus on the modeling component, okay? On actually building the machine learning model. And you will know someone is more model-centric AI when they ask questions such as, you know, is this a classification model or, or should I use a neural network or a decision tree or an exibus or whatever. Or how large should the model be? What is the right regularization parameter? So a lot of very cryptic words that most of you don't understand, right? And if you notice someone speaking like this, they are very model-centric AI, be aware of that. Be careful because that can compromise the performance of your initiative as a whole. Okay, and actually here people think like data is fixed and already curated and they only need to deal with the modeling part of it. And as surprising as it may sound, most clients, most leads, when they come to us, they come with a model-centric perspective, okay? They say, I have collected all of this data, this rich data set, and now I want you to train this model, okay? And it's just training a model, okay? And then we need to start educating them into the practice that is never just a model, you need to understand, you know, how good is the data, if you are collecting the actual data that you need to make these kind of decisions, how can you transform these predictions into decisions and change your operations, etc. So, as surprising as it may sound, most people is model-centric when they think about AI, even if they don't recognize it, okay? So let's go for data-centric AI. Remember, there is a free preview for to our uh, building grade data sets course, which is quite relevant for this kind of approach. And data-centric AI, is, or at least should be, as we are talking now, one of the most common patterns in the industry, which is data is alive and we need to build, you know, good data sets that actually bring value to the business. And it's all around getting better data. So imposing practices that create better data that can then be leveraged by models. And whenever you are trying to fix or to improve a predictive pipeline, an AI pipeline, you don't focus on having a better model, you focus on having a better data set to fit that model. A better data set can mean many things. A cleaner data or other data sources that you haven't considered yet or more granular data, not so coarse. So data-centric AI is all about having more and better data to fit your models and you don't care much about the model, okay? And this is actually what we do mainly at Neil AI when we are working on the technical component. People always ask me, you know, how do you do internal cross-validation to the right parameters? And I always tell them, you know what? I shouldn't say this as open as I do, but most of the times I don't even choose the hyperparameters. I keep the default ones. And my full focus is on the data component. How can I get more and better data? And on the business component. The, the increase you will get by changing the model, by being model-centric AI, the increase that you will gain on performance is very marginal when you compare it, you know, effort versus benefit with increase you can get from having a better data and from the third approach, which is having a better integration with the business uh, perspective. And this is what I call business-centric AI. And for me, this should be the industry standard when we think about embracing AI in any company. Again, there is a free preview to our Data Night course that will teach you this approach of business-centric AI. So for me, business-centric AI means thinking about AI as a new process in your company, as a new department that will require, that will have some tasks and that will require some sort of inputs and will produce a certain activity, will automate a certain process, but it's just a new activity inside your business. And a new activity, it will have to fit your 
business pipeline, your business processes, your culture, your culture as an organization, it will have to fit your value proposition. So how does this AI fit my value proposition? Should I change my value proposition given the new aspects that this AI is bringing to me? Or for example, if I have this AI that is fed by these three activities and that fits this other one, so how should I adjust these surrounding activities to incorporate the AI? Or how should I change the AI so it simply trivially incorporates the surrounding activities without causing much uh, stress? Again, is my company culture suitable for making data-driven decisions or not? How is accountability inside the company if I am automating this process? So business-centric AI is actually thinking about the AI as another department in your, in your company, establishing business-oriented goals and understanding how the whole machine works together with this AI component, okay? So to create an ever-improving business using AI, the entire organization should focus on a business-centric AI perspective and stop thinking about AI as an isolated piece either from a model-centric perspective or data-centric one, okay? If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.